A protest which started at the Golden Grove Market on the east coast of the Marara on Tuesday morning for justice to be served in the shooting death of 23-year-old Quindon Bacchus and moved along the east coast, blocking roads and setting debris on fire. During the protest, which ended up at the Monrepo market on the East Coast, stall owners and vendors were reportedly robbed, brutalized and had their vehicles destroyed. This was the scene when the newsroom visited on Tuesday. Vendors at the Monrepo market are reporting millions of dollars in losses after they ran for safety and left their goods and stalls behind. I sell for over a million dollars to be honest with you. It wasn't, I sell clothing and footwear, so it was a lot. Toloram Ram Karan, a father of eight, has been selling at the market for years. During the protests on Tuesday, his minibus was set on fire and he was also beaten. He said he was loading his bus when the rioters attacked him. Will tell me done load up all the time going for the bus for our drive driveway. Then I rock come and start lash up the bus and thing broke up the windscreen and so start punch me and so inside the bus. And carry everything and then them burn up the bus. Plus all my money and so all I carry my cell phone and so all. Me don't know what me go to for a living now. Because I don't need the temper. Vendors are now left traumatized coupled with the damage and losses suffered during the violent protest. I pick up my son and I run and I left everything. I couldn't fetch nothing or save anything. The only thing I could have got is my car key. And that's it. Let me run and when we come back, this is how we see everything. Today I stack everything up in my business, mommy. Everything. Everything. One, two, three, four, stand. Everything done. What are we selling for my honest dollar? People need to support me and me lash me and blind me. We got two children. I don't have a man. I don't have nobody that knows me. Two children, them alone. Morning, three thirty, me get up and go and buy me load. Now that's shy with everything. Who gonna give me your money for go and buy back load for start sell tomorrow? Who me could go to? I had no else, nothing else to do than run for run for safety. We run for safety. Whoever black you, whoever money you had on you, that is what I take. A few vendors are also dissatisfied with the response by the Ghana police force. I called BV station three times. You hear what I'm telling you? They watch man in BV. Who is there to be watchman? They're supposed to be here. You know when they come? When everything was like this. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? They got a helicopter flying. Bring one to soldier and protect. I mean, I understand that you can't can be here at the same time, right? At least bring out a few and let them secure the area. The police leave the scene the police, and run away. They walk away. When they see the mob coming towards the market, they walk away. Other vehicles were also damaged by the rioters at the market and following the looting and robbing of the vendors, citizens took photos of some of the suspects fleeing with the stolen goods on the roadway. Meanwhile, Minister of Home Affairs Robson Ben was on the ground observing the clearing of the roadways of people and debris. Ben, too, lamented the delayed police response and called on protesters to remain peaceful. For sure, I think there was a delay in the police response. And uh, what seemingly started as a protest cascaded down the coast. And we are appealing to those who may want to think that they have legitimate reasons to protest, to do so peaceably and without interfering or attacking other Guyanese. And generally to ask people to remain as calm as possible. Is there an update you can provide into the Quindon Backers investigation? No, no, I will not say anything about that at the moment. And you spoke about the police's response delayed. Um, is this for the entire protest or just a golden rule? Um, I said it already. The Guyana Police Force, in a brief statement, said the Joint Services will monitor the East Coast roadway to mitigate against acts of crime and damage to property. Meanwhile, the family of Quindon Bacchus has since condemned acts of criminality during Tuesday's protests and noted that their demonstrations remain peaceful at Golden Grove. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwal.
Yeah, I do, I do. Smart, yeah, we do. We're the putan, though.